Hey, it's your girl Autumn, and I welcome you back to the Lit Life Podcast, where I encourage you to live your life autonomously. Y'all, man, listen, if y'all have been listening over the past few weeks, you know that I've had some pretty good guests on here. Like, I've had just some amazing people to come and tell their stories of uh, living their dreams and like entrepreneurship and just all types of stuff. And it's just been, I'm glad I came up with the idea, right? Like I'm, I'm super glad I came up with the idea. But today I actually have somebody right here in the studio. Like it's always fun to have somebody right here. <laughs> Facts, facts. I mean, it's just a different, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. everything is just, it's just it's so much time. better, yeah, right? Absolutely. Um, so, y'all, welcome to the show, D Murph. What up, what up, ATL? What up, what up, what up From uh, Flagrant 2. Huh. And the real one. Why Not Sports. Well, hashtag Why Not Sports, yep, yep. What, what you say, the real one, it's another the, one. Yeah, so, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trademark, look it up, USPTO. Yeah, Derek there Murphy, look it up, look it up. Look you it heard up. you heard the man. He said he's a professional. <laughs> I got to be. He said, I do this. Hey, people will snatch and do whatever they can to take credit for yours. Hey, you ain't lying. You are not. Wait a minute. I'm just not seeing your shirt. What did it say? <laughs> I appreciate my teammates. Yes. Myself, Penrose, with the support. Of Mr. BTG. Yes. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not seeing that, man. Baylor is stepping his game up yeah, with it's the nice. shirts. And on, uh, on, look, look on the sleeve. Look on the sleeve. Big homie. Oh, I see it. On. Shout out to BTG. We man. actually did a thread. All of us did videos on Twitter. A thread with the shirt on. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> I ain't even see that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, just had, um, I just had him. I think he was the first person on this actual series. Nice. Um, nice. Finally got him on my show or whatever. Nice. You know, we always pick with each other because yes. he's out in California. I'm like, you ain't trying to. You ain't trying to fuck with nobody from yeah, the Midwest. Yeah, is that yeah, what it he, is? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, he tend to be a little biased. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Discriminate. I'm, hey, and I'm beloved, BTG. Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. But um, welcome to Atlanta, man. Welcome like, to Atlanta where the play is played. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, so just a, just a little uh, background. So D. Murph and I have been talking back and forth. As you guys know, as you should know, I've been on his show. A few and, times. Yeah, and yep. it, and it, yeah, yep, and it was we had a good time, mm-hmm. um, and I was like, I gotta get you on the show. Yes. I gotta get yes. you on the show. Yes, gotta you get did. you on the yes, show. You did. And we kind of played a little phone tag back and forth a couple of times, and then we had it scheduled, and then the damn freeze. ice. Yep, the freeze in Houston took February. over Houston yep. way in February. Yep, yep, yep. And um, he he told me he was like, hey. Make it up to you. I sure did. It's going to happen. It might not be right away, yep. but it's going to happen. Yep. And then yep. a yep. little while after that, I get a call like, I'm coming to Atlanta. Like, what? you, what you trying to do? And I'm like, this is what it is. Like, this the love. This the yeah, love no I be doubt. talking about. Like, no y'all doubt. know I have said so many times, you know what I'm saying? When you come to Atlanta, as long as you let me know. Ahead of time, no last like, minute. Like I'm at the door. No, nah, oh, don't. Just a big homie. Like don't, don't uh, send me a tweet talking about I'm in your city because I'm gonna be like half fun. <laughs> like I don't, I don't do the last minute shit unless right. you know, unless right. I absolutely can. But I, you know, I don't be on it. So I appreciate that. No problem. Um, we had a good time. 
last night Ooh, uh the, the music the y'all saw I, a couple people already hit me up about the uh instagram live that we <laughs> did we were doing a, my son said y'all was on there loud and wrong i was like absolutely and so, having a great time except having, for me i was sitting down as a cheerleader yeah supporting my peers as, it's, it took a song what what song was that it was what t- tony 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 or something came yeah, on it, it was yeah. like oh shit that's, i was like yeah, okay that's yeah, murph shit yeah, right there tony, tony tony has done it again yes <laughs> yes so um Shout out to um, to Kira from yeah, Moms Kira. and Martinis yeah, uh, podcast the, for yeah real. for letting us come through and um, have a good time and help celebrate Penrose, Penrose. crazy ass birthday. <laughs> And got love for you, brother. <laughs> I had to tell him to go to hell because he tells <laughs> he gonna tell me. Um, you look taller on the phone. He like, did. what does that even the mean? First, the first thing he said when he met you, he showed this. When he that. finally woke up. But well, we gonna, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so how have you been? Like, just, I, I always check in with my guests, especially if they've never been on the show before. Yes, yes. Like, you know, it's it's been a it's been a wild ride these past what eighteen nineteen months however long this has been going yes, on and yes. then on, on top of that just the inconveniences of the weather yes. you know y'all again you had your your eyes it's, and there is still people kind of like recovering from that like yeah, just yeah so how how have you been doing though like how has how have you been doing throughout. This Actually, craziness? better now. So I had took I had took a took a. A nice break. I was be honest, eight eight it, or nine it, months. It was long. It was oh, it was long. Oh, it was very uh, long. Uh, so break. I had to take a break. It wasn't mm-hmm. a lot of it was because of like you said, it was so much going on. Mm-hmm. Whether it was you know, far as as we said, quote unquote, mother nature, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the work spot. Um, just needed some time to kind of put myself in a position to kind of evaluate some things. So. Um, Toward the end of 2020, I told Big Roy, I'm like, dude, my schedule is getting intense. Mm-hmm. And thank y'all for that that uh, takeover. PHH oh, podcast. Yes, happy yes, hour. yes. Um, and I just knew the schedule was going to get real tight. So it's like right around the holidays, I was like, yo, it's getting worse as far as my workload at work. So that means it's going to be very little time mm-hmm. for the brand. But on the flip side, I'm hourly. So I took advantage of that and got trademarks and got the documents as far as the LLCs Mm -hmm. and making sure I got some more documents and put some money away for new equipment. So it, it, it worked out perfect. So now that I am back, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm, I'm an ATL kicking it with you. Right. Like like I'm good. I'm really in a good space. And that break also gave me that creative juice Mm -hmm. and that urge to come back. Right, right. So now, and sometimes you just need that break. Like yeah. I said, I, like I was telling you before we hit record, I purposely take a break in between, you know, my quote unquote seasons. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I'll do 10 episodes, maybe a couple of bonuses, but I'll just take a break because just because just, just because there's still so much going on. Yep, you know what yep, I'm saying? Right, and right, I, right. I need to. Sometimes I just need to just sit and just do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just need to sit, get in my recliner. That's it. And just sit there, like, so, and yeah. not not think about, like, oh, okay, I got to get this content. I just don't want to think about anything. So, it, you know, it's good to take a break. But we glad that you back. Like, yeah. Tamara had to, like, <laughs> Tamara had to low-key, like, get yeah. you together on Twitter. Yeah. Like, what's, yeah. what's Tam, T? Tam, once she called me out. Shout out to you again, Tan. We actually did an episode. Honesty is the best policy. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few weeks back, check it out on the Flagrant Two. Um, once she acknowledged the world with that tweet, it really like not only gave me that like Murph, you better get back on your your shit. Mm-hmm. And people was like, wait a minute, Murph hasn't dropped. So I'm like, uh oh, mm-hmm. a good thing I said Murph. So when you do come back. You better be ready. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm ready. All right. And I'm featuring on Hello, Lit Life yep, we podcast. Are, we in this thing. Living my, ni- <laughs> living my life autonomously. We ain't got no video, y'all, because, listen, y'all know every time I have somebody in the studio, I'll be trying to set video <laughs> up, and it just never works out for me. So, I don't That's know. Maybe one day I'm going to have somebody come over here and, like, professionally and, like, set go. some shit up for yeah. me. But as for now, y'all just got to get these vocals. So, anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get, get started with the, you know, you know how we do. Shut the fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Goddamn, nigga. All right, 
it's y'all favorite part of the show, the Shut the Fuck Up Award. And if this is your first time here because, you know, you saw D. Murph was was uh, was going to be a guest and you, you're you one of his, his, his folks and you came to listen, let me tell y'all about the Shut the Fuck Up Award. This is an award, and I honestly, I don't even know how I came up with this because initially, <laughs> initially I was doing like this uh, positive uh, energy thing and all this, and I still do. You know, I still kick, kick that in my episodes, but I have no idea how this came about. But anyways, this is the part of the show where myself and my guests can tell a person, a, a group, a collective, uh, it, uh, whatever it is, a political party, uh, you know, your neighbor, whatever. Whoever you want to tell just randomly to shut the fuck up, this is your chance. You got anything? So you're going to put me on the spot? Yeah, the guests always go first. Well, you know what? <clears throat> because I'm a true gentleman, you're the host. Okay. And ladies, right. lady, I think I think you should go first. Okay. So low-key, I got to. Okay. So we were talking about um, just recently, uh, you know, the verses that, who was it, Ja Rule and Fat Joe right, did. Right. Yep. And it was amazing. Like, verses have really been amazing lately. Um, but everybody is calling for JD and Diddy. Diddy. And we were talking a little bit about this last <laughs> yep, night. Yep, yep. And. So when I got home last night, when I get on get on Twitter, I see this video of it's it's uh, JD, Fat Joe, Snoop, and uh, Diddy. Mm-hmm. And so JD and Diddy going back and forth. Snoop looked like he just being messy, like he just he just there. The Cause, instigator, right? Because JD like <laughs> you know JD like yeah you know what's your what's your hitch? Come on now, come on. You know they just kind of going back and forth. And so Diddy says. You you got all these hits. So I'm paraphrasing. You got all these hits, uh, but I got more money. <laughs> yeah, you did. I just want to tell people like that to shut the fuck up. Not necessarily just Diddy, but let me explain something to y'all about money. Money is not the end all be all. Mm-hmm. Like do not get me wrong. Yeah, it, it will it contribute to your happiness? Absolutely. Will it contribute, you know, it, it is it going the more money you have, like it's going to give you, you know, may give you a better quality of life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like all of that good stuff, but it'll never ever 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 make, completely make you happy. Facts. So you so you said, because my response, my famous response, if you look at my, um, you see my little thing up here? I see it. What PJ saying, the thing that they sent me, uh, the podcast happy hour people sent me for yeah. my uh, birthday. You say that to say what? Yeah, that's what it say right there. Okay, but we, we're we not talking about coins. We're talking about hits. Two different things. And it ain't like he ain't got them. It ain't like, it. but he, but f- for whatever reason, Diddy is not trying to do this shit. He is not. I, I'm hoping that it happens. Like, oh my God, it would be so live if it happens. But I just want to tell people like that to like, literally like to shut the fuck up because yeah. just because you have a one up on, in, on money, on things, right. materialistic things, what, none of that stuff really, it don't really matter. If I'm doing something I love and I'm not getting paid for it, I'm more at peace than knowing I have the money and I'm miserable, personally. That part. That part. I mean, you know, you can get, like, you know, for instance, I, you know, I got a new position a few few, uh, months ago. Congratulations. And thank you. Mm. And, you know, I make more money now. My problems ain't go away. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like I was, I mean, I was paying my bills then. I was, you know what I'm saying? But my my problems and my, you know, like my, my anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit that I really wish would go away, like money can't buy that. Mm-hmm. Is it, there's not there's not enough money that can that can stop me from having anxiety regularly. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, so it's right, just right. like, why, well, you know, so not necessarily just Diddy, but people who have that mindset, you I feel like you really need to 
like if that's your only comeback and and, and that's another thing it's like it, it you know they use it as an attack and it's just like it's it's unnecessary we did that when we was growing up i could beat your butt well i got money it's <laughs> well i got the best i can I, I, I look best better than you anyway like why did you have to bring up stuff like that right we trying to fight you ain't about what i got Right. Anyway, I'm just. So no, I, I get it. No, I mean it, it. That's but that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's when you start to deter. You know what I mean. You start mm-hmm. to. You want to change the subject. Yeah, we we have right. a very specific subject here that we're talking about. Facts. And you want to say, oh, but I got money. Right. Or <laughs> or you know what I'm saying. Some people be like, oh, or I got bitches, or yeah. I got you know, yeah. I got cars, I got right. this that. I mean, right. none of that. Stick to the point. No, that stuff don't that stuff doesn't affect me at all like there's nothing that the your stuff your stuff ain't got shit to do with me facts <laughs> you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i want to tell them type of people to shut the fuck up the second one i'm about to just go ahead because first i was when i woke up this morning uh-oh <laughs> Tell it. When I woke up this morning, I felt, and this is going to go like a totally different different way, but when I woke up this morning and thought to my, was thinking about the conversations that we were having last night. We had a lot of them. Yes. We were talking about music. <laughs> like, uh, we, I mean, cause we did, we were doing karaoke and then yep. we just started talking about music yep. in the eighties and the nineties and all this and the other. So I'm about to just, I'm, I'm about to just put it on blast. We started talking about Aaron Hall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Penrose Eames said that Aaron Hall was in public announcement at one point in time. I this I woke up with this on my brain. Like, let me look this shit up because I, it just is not adding up. Penrose was so serious. Now you and and uh, mm-hmm. Kira was just kind of kind of just sitting there, but I'm I, like, I was like, I think he was. If you go back to one of them videos, I think he was on a video for sure. Was uh, is was is that what it was that he was just in a video because he was not in the group? Yeah, I think it was a video. He was definitely. I gotta tell Penrose to shut the fuck up on that Ooh, one because he was not. You in, see, like I I didn't know. Right, I, and I I get up. I'm like, let me. I'm like, let me let me yeah. just look. And the only. Thing that came, you know, you could you know, go to Wiki or whatever, but <laughs> right, you know, right, but right. Uh, other than that, like the articles and stuff, the only thing that comes up is the you know comparison between him and Old Boy. So, right, right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, okay, well, I, but you see, you, me and Kira was kind of like, I mean, I think he was in a video, but again, I, I, they did look very similar with the with the boots and the ball head. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, but, and and we talked about how you know, you know, he bit, you know, uh, Aaron Hall's style and right. all that stuff. You know, we talked about the boots and you know, we talked about a whole lot of stuff. Come but on. the real Jodeci boots, right? Are the, oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we talked. We talked about all of that. So it. like, um, but yeah, Penrod was mad because I'm like, I'm over there, y'all, because I didn't had a drink or two. Y'all know, I, y'all know, I didn't hit this blunt. Like, I'm like, I'm like floored, like I'm flabbergasted that he just said this and that I, for like a teeny part of me, was believed it. Like I couldn't believe it because I'm like, no, like I know better than this. Yeah. Yeah. I know better than this. Right, right. right. So, um, but, but I just thought that up, was though. funny. I did. I looked I mean, it up. That's what it's about. You got to. Double check. I just shouldn't even had to look it up. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's my whole point here. Like, I'm mad at myself low key. I think that that's what it is. I'm mad at myself low key for like gotcha. halfway, uh, halfway thinking. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. He's gotcha. very convincing. Gotcha. That, that's, yeah. Very yes, convincing. Sir. That's why I, why I rock with them. <laughs> Keep me on my toes and call each other out respectfully. Every time. Come on. Every time. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I told you. Know. I didn't know for sure, though. Like you said, I was kind of like, man, I can see it, but I don't. I mean, hey. Y'all should have saw me. I damn near rolled around on the floor she almost. Because I'm like, yo, what? She knew for sure. She was like, nah. No, like no. I um like you cannot sit here to, and I don't know why I didn't just look it up. Why didn't I look it up right then and there? We were singing the other yeah, songs we was and doing too much. yeah, uh, three different conversations going on at once. Yeah, good times, great times. We had a we had a ball. So ball. yeah, that's all I got. You okay. you got anything? Of course. Let's go. Let's get. Let's hear it. Shut the fuck up. Yes, I, bring this energy. Come on. Whether you're vaccinated or not, baby, this is it. 
that bothers. I am. I don't care if you said Murph, show me your car. That's still not going to tell me that you not dope as shit. I'm just saying. So now in this world that we're living in, it, it, it's about dividing us, which I don't like that. Mm-hmm. As Autumn said, I have two different platforms, whether you from the East Coast, West Coast, down South, up North. No matter what you are, who you are, you've been on my platform. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to divide. But this vaccination compared to unvax is dividing us and making some very hostile environments for that one listen, probably where you work at. You might be that person. Mm-hmm. I hope not, but mm-hmm. just shut the fuck up. I had a conversation right before I left to come on this, you know, on this flight the day before. Right. <sighs> it's just, it's so much. <laughs> it's just so much. I, I, I think, I feel like we're spending so much time arguing about this. Well, I'm not, but <sighs> arguing about this right. when literally, like, you know, you could just kind of mind your business like that. You could kind of mind your business because you can't make anybody do anything. You, you, there's no like people have to change their own minds. So what, yeah. how, what, however they feel about it, how whatever it is that they got to do, it's it's bad enough that we're already gonna have to continue to hear about it, like on the news, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if you don't, if you don't watch the news, you know, if you get on social media, you get, you have to hear about it there, you yes, know, ma'am. just because that's their job. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so you'll, you'll, you'll see it and you'll have to hear about it. But I, my thing is just mind your damn business and don't say no stupid shit to me. Like, I psh. facts. That's so it. That, 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 that's all. That's it. That's yeah. it. And that's all. Thank so, you for agreeing. Um, yeah. 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 That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That's, Thank you. Um, we, we have, um, you know, we, I've, I've talked a lot about it and it's just, you know, every, even since the beginning of the pandemic, just the pandemic in general, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. It, when we started, um, you know, when they said we can't, you know, no, no flying, no doing nothing, just, yeah. just chill. Right. And then when it was time to start doing things again, and there were people that were doing things and there, there were people that weren't, but then everybody had to argue about it. Let, let people just go on to do, I mean, as long as it's not going to like directly affect you, which, you know, I kind of say that loosely because, you know, this, this shit just spread like wildfire for real, for real. But you know what I'm saying? You can't, my point is you can't change anybody's mind. Nope. You you cannot do it. So just like save yourself some, some heartache and, and, and your vocals and, uh, and, you know, save a couple of years on your life to, to not be arguing with folks you about know, their opinions and you, stuff. That's a life gym, period. Don't waste your unnecessary energy for people that's on some bullshit or just that just don't nope. value you and or your time. I didn't make it this far in life. I didn't make it this far as a brand by to your point. Hey man, um worrying about what other people think. Right. Or worried about what Ooh, other people say. Talk about it. So talk about with it. You saying that it's just like again, I'm in ATL. I owed Autumn a show. She got it. I can't Period. guarantee that'll be for the next person, though. <laughs> right. So guess what? <laughs> now they're like, damn, or if you have, you that is a savage move. Right. But on the flip side, they're like, yo, that's respect. So either way, but I, I can't please both parties. can't please everybody. So I just did what I had to do, and there it is. But we in this thing. Yeah, we in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, you know what I'm saying? We'll go ahead and, and go into the show. So my my, I think that you were a perfect guest for this particular series. Oh, man. Um, like I said, it's the Living Your Dreams series. And because I look up to you as a podcaster. My I know bad. thank you. I'm you good. You know, you good. <laughs> you know, do what you gotta do. Um, I I and and a lot of people that I know look up to you as a podcaster. So, but I I also know that you're more than just a podcaster, like you have a whole brand. And just like you were saying earlier, you know, you kind of, you know, took a break. And and even though you took a break from recording, you didn't take a break from your brand. Right behind the scenes. Um, So I I just kind of want to talk about, start by talking about how it all started. Like, how did, uh, how did this thing come about? So for you and the, the people that rock with me, thank you to be, you know, someone that's, you know, respected. Uh, at that level, 
Uh, I think you reach a point in your life to where, like we talked about, when you in a workforce or environments to where it's about division or not getting recognized or the credit that you deserve, might as well create your own. That's so, real. Um, there's a point in time where that employer at the time wasn't acknowledging my uh, impact. Okay. Which happens a lot. Which happens a lot. So that's what I, I tell people a lot. So from 25 to 35, that's 10 years of the same bullshit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I can't keep living my life like this. I'm not even that type of dude. Right. I can I can deal with you lying. I can deal with you going back and forth. But for 10 years, all right, enough is enough. Period. I'm going to create my own. I didn't know where I was going to start, though. So mm-hmm. me being a spiritual person that I am, I'm like, Lord. Now, you you had me dope at what I do. I've been very successful in the corporate world. I've bounced back from a failed uh, marriage. I was very great as a student athlete. Help me put this together. All right. I like sports. Mm -hmm. I do like sports. Why not sports? Wait a minute. Why not sports? I always talk about sports. As a leader and as a manager of mid-level you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Person of authority. It's kind of like, I do use sports as analogies when I'm talking to people. Mm-hmm. Hey, Autumn, you're going to be my spokesperson. So-and-so, we just keep everything on point, making sure audio, like, your, for me, your strength is your delivery, how you speak. So I'm going to make sure you're, if on my team, you're going to be my person that's going to be my eyes and ears and right. let people know, hey, this is not the right thing or the right or the wrong thing. To do. Right, right. I know that. So I just I started putting people in place, and this has been for years. Mm-hmm. And I, all them different experiences started kicking in. I was like, man, why not sports? We talk about the good, how successful, the bad, maybe, you know, that marriage or that relationship, the ugly way, too. It's like, man, I'm so alert to where they like, ugh, this dude. And how it impacts your everyday life. It's dope, too. Damn, Ain't it crazy how it just comes to you though? Like, it, but you said you know you 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 sat down like, all right, God, what it what it, what we gonna do? Because I was very upset, and I know you shouldn't be upset, but I tell anybody, do God challenge us all the time, every day? So why can't we challenge Him? He just want to make he just wants some attention. He is a jealous God. I mm-hmm. promise you, I'm just in my zone. I now. know it. I know it. But He was like, thank you for challenging me. I was waiting on this moment. To give you what I've been trying to give you for the longest, but you have to reach this point. And right. it's the same thing. Every time. What I'm dealing with right now, I'm like, God, you, 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 you. So we going to, me and God going to ride very soon, yep. too, because <laughs> he got some things like, now nah, I've been trying to tell you, I got this line up, this line up, what you going to do? So, uh, so you went through, so you, you start, you created uh, Why Not Sports, but that was your first podcast, right? Yes. Yep, yep, And yep. then, how, so how did Flagrant 2 come about? The flagrant 2, the real one. That I, I was on Flagrant 2, y'all. Yeah. FYI. Yes, a, a few times. Yes. The first uh, the first episode, if you look up the title, Li- Live Life Anonymously, mm-hmm. it should pull up, no matter where you yeah. listen to your podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So, me being me, Why Not Sports was my baby. I want to come in not to take over the podcast community or take over a small section. I just wanted to do it gradually Mm -hmm. because there was still some ins and outs. I didn't go to school for producing or creating content or auditing and editing, you know, different, you know, sound bites. I didn't do do, do none of that. So I want to start slow. I want to be the sports guy. Just, you know, even though I knew more Mm -hmm. than sports, I was like, okay. So again, my favorite number 24. 24. You look up the episode for Why Not Sports. Number 24 was the episode that brought the life of the flagrant two. My father, love you, Pops, part one, came into Houston. I said, Pops, I got to get some things off my chest. We talked about it, Mm -hmm. obviously, but on air, I wanted to really let people hear the good, bad, and the ugly. Of life for mm-hmm. me. It mm-hmm. wasn't even about the sports side. Teared up, choked up. How we were sitting. <laughs> right. And that was a good two seconds. I went back. I, I brought it back in. But not having my father in my life really made it tough for my childhood as far as listening to authority, especially men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not in my life, dude. So I'm definitely not going to listen to another dude. Right. 
So with that being said, you stayed in that six by nine. I want a court dunking on people. I'm bringing that thunder. I, I don't give a care if your family or anybody's in the stands. I'm, you're going to get destroyed. And a lot of that had to do with that rage of not having, when you look to the stands, where's Derek Murphy Sr.? He's not here. Mm-hmm. But you're Murph, and I'm named after him. Ah, this mm. is frustrating. This is frustrating. But you know what? I'm going to tune that, turn that energy, like we spoke on, mm-hmm. on this ball and on my opponents. Good good luck. Sorry for your luck. Me and Pop didn't even talk nothing sports or very little sports. Mm-hmm. I got so much feedback, so much feedback. And again, shout out to Black Paco. He was the one that really was like, yo, Murph. He'll do that. He will do that. Murph. Now, I, you just came in the game. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He said, no. And I, I did exactly what you did. I'm laughing. I'm like, I, I appreciate it. He's like, no. You came into this game. You need to bring us some more heat. But it only had to be sports because you and your father, y'all did it. Mm. And I said, for real? He said, bro. I said, me being me. I said, you know what? Let me talk to my family because obviously baby boy was like, that was 2017. Yeah, he was. He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't even out yet. So mm-hmm. it was kind of like, yo, I know, doing dealing with a pregnancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot going on. Yeah, a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Good point. Good point. I ain't gonna go in detail, but mood swings. And you be like, mm-hmm. man, just watch at least Big D. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to Derek uh, Murphy the third. So I, I, I talk. I talked to the family about it, and if you if you got time, you can manage it. Go for it. Let me see what I can do. So I said, you know what? Maybe it should be a good 10 minutes. Just, hey, yeah, y'all, just this is D-Murph. Something. Yeah, big homie was just kind of, like I told you, a couple of topics, five minutes apiece, or one topic, 10 minutes, and I'm done. Mm-hmm. People was like, Murph, you need to start bringing guests on the show. I was like, guests? Yeah. And this is just different, various people. After, like Paco said, you need another show, here come guests. I'm like, I guess it's going to be a show with guests. Yeah. All right, so let me come up with a name. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm not, I love. I, I am loving this this story. Like, <laughs> I love knowing what the creative process. Yeah, is. Yeah, like. so I'm sitting here like, okay, it can't be why not sports, but I love sports though. I, mm. I, sports is that's 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 that is the foundation of all of our, all of what I do. Mm-hmm. It got to be sports related. What is sports related that I can use for a show that's not about sports? But if it's talked upon, it's not gonna like, it's not gonna be like, oh my gosh, like I didn't tune in. Right, this. right, right, right. I want the conversation to be raw. I want it to be uncut. I want it to be to the point to where it's like, yo, this person just went far with it. What do? What can you do in sports if you go far with it? It's just going to be some mm. type of alert. Mm. If you look at, especially basketball, a flagrant two, you ejected from the game. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, that's it. If you get ejected from this podcast, you just went, you just went far left, far right, <laughs> or just above the richer scale. Right. But. You had to do a lot to get to that point. So I said, that's what's going to be the title. That's dope. Flagrant 2 with D. Murph. The flagrant 2 is this person, like in your case, you decide to go far left, far right, or just out the Richter scale. Hey, but you still gave us your all to where your audience was even like, yo, I wasn't even expecting that from Autumn. Right. Flagrant 2 with D. Murph is born. That's lit. That's I, like that's a that's such a like a like an inspiring story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. somebody needs to needs to hear yeah, that. So I'm juggling two podcasts at the same time. Various guests. Again, thank you for your support on both. Oh, anytime. I know as a Cowboys fan, I had the great Quincy Carter on Man. linked up with him in person. Right. And I'm a, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to that in a in a second. I'm gonna get to that. So in, I wanted in a to second. say even for you know both platforms. Cause you it's it's not often you get people that supports both. Right. So for you to do that, I just want to tell you that. Oh, no problem. No problem. I mean, I see, like, I and I've gotten to the point, like, right now, especially, like, with the job change and all that stuff, I haven't been able to, like, tune in to all of my favorite podcasts yeah, yeah, and right, stuff. Right. But, that, it, you know, typically, like, I think I saw, um, I saw that episode, uh, I think I saw a tweet, you tweeted it out, and I'm like, this nigga didn't got a cowboy on here. So let, me, let, me, let, me, let me hurry up and turn this <laughs> off. You know what I'm saying? It. But I had listened to a couple of a uh, couple of other of your uh, of the sports one too mm-hmm. as well. But um, so so we're, we're we're talking about living your dreams, and I, I want to know. So you created you created these two podcasts, and again they you know they're podcasts, but. 
how how did the the dream come about as far as like your brand overall because I didn't even okay before before I before I reached out to you to be on the show um the, you know all those months ago I was doing you know research or whatever and you know went to your site and went to all your stuff and I'm like he's an author too <laughs> Yeah. So, like, I just yeah. I, it all. So, what's what's all under your brand umbrella? So, technically, um, that that's that's a damn good question. That's a really good question because I was just <laughs> exclusively on the Lit Life podcast, two podcasts, a couple of LLCs, a book, and a half. I'm halfway done with my children's book, Papa oh! Papa. Murphy's Adventures, okay? Papa Murphy Adventures. It's either yes. or, but it's it's a children's book with the uh, the Murphy clan. Um, self confidence coach. Because I support. Thank you, thank you. Thank I you, I, I got you. I got the book, y'all. Thank I ain't you, read it yet, you. but I thank you. I thank definitely you. got it. Yeah, the first book title is uh, podcasting. I forgot my how, how podcasting helped me get my, my groove, groove back. back. It's more, more than, than just, just a mic. mic. Yep, that's the very first book. Growing up, when you hear, shout out to mom, shout out to my parents. Mom had me at 16, so you hear mm. those things. Oh, you're going to mm-hmm. be a statistic. You're not going to be the person to live your dreams. Mm-hmm. You might be like your daddy in that six by nine or mm-hmm. not even here. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, man. So I feel like now let me just just grow. And being a self-confidence coach, I have my license and all that stuff, certificate. Really? Look, look at, listen to me Exclu- learn this Exclu- stuff. Exclusive on your show. I haven't wow. talked about the children's book. I haven't talked about the um, the uh, licensed coach either. I ain't talking about none of that. But for you, I'll do it. That's what's yep, up. Yep, yep. So when you're talented, like yourself, you. why not just limit yourself? Like, right. again, I can hear my pops in my ear. Love you, pops. You're supposed to have heaven on earth. Mm-hmm. He's going. If he's gifted you with that gift, why can't you get financially rewarded or rewarded for them gifts? So if you dope in ten things, why not do ten different things? So why limit yourself? That's right. If you and if you can do it, if you can make it work, there's no reason. And and honestly, it's not even like a. <laughs> it's not even like a. If you can make it work, if you really want to make it work. There's a way to make it work. Yeah. Amen. I'm juggling two podcasts, road to 500. Yes. Family man. Still got a job, a brand, and a team behind me. And it's 24 hours in a day. I don't even know how I do it either. Like, right. If you ask me, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't tell you. Like I said, I be having to just sit for a couple of hours <laughs> and just be like, the TV be on, but I don't yeah. even be, I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I I I really um I didn't you see I didn't got hot. I, it'd be hot in here, man. Um I um I I admire people who have such a drive. You know what I mean? Like like one person that comes to mind like off the top of my head is Tamara. Like her her Tam. getting her Tam. <laughs> like her starting her business and yeah. like just going full force and Respect. doing everything like the way that it's supposed to be, to be done. She's not taking any shortcuts. And because of that, she's going to be successful. Absolutely. She's going to be successful. Like I admire people with a drive. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those things. Like you have to, when you say you're going to do something, and then you do it's two it's it's two different things, it is, baby. It is. You say you're gonna do something, you're like, all right, I'm gonna do it. But when you actually do it, and then you shock the world by it, right? Because I'm sure there's people that be like, he really did that. Like it's, mm. and, and, and and that's what I was gonna say. So when you put people, when you put things into people's spirit or to their realm or to their environment, because the power of the tongue, yes, y'all know what I'm getting at is it, basically life or death. If, I, words mean things. I say it all the time. And I, all I can think about is those people that said, Murph, you got a voice. Murph, you have a presence. All that, when I was reflecting, those positive reinforcements, Murph, you are somebody. Murph, you're going to be dope, man, when you decide to focus on what you want to do. 
you have an impact on people. You just got to tap into it. So all those different things, again, shout out to my grandmother. Um, definitely no longer here, but she was the person that, the person you're hearing now, other than sports, that was us. Mm-hmm. Instead of, like you said, with yesterday, when we going through ATL, you can either go the shortcut way, mm-hmm. which goes the highway, or you're going to take them back roads. And shout out to my granny, them back roads was the, intimate conversations we would have Mm -hmm. when it wasn't about sports when it was her the 100 Salem 100s not the short ones them long boys Mm -hmm. and her Pepsi and we just talking and and normal mom say 25 minutes to the house from just say a certain spot granny uh, 45 minutes to an hour so guess what we kicking it it's funny you said this is a totally also it's funny you say Pepsi because you know (laughs) Down here, they don't do they don't do Pepsi at all. That's how I know you from the Midwest. Come on, they do not do Pepsi yeah. down here. Okay, like Coke. it's Coke. Period. That's gotcha. it. My mom was a Pepsi man. <laughs> she get her cigarette that Pepsi. That's Come what on. she needed. Go go to cars. We used to live across the street from a store. Go Come get on. me a Pepsi. All right. Come on. Uh, but anyways, no, you good? Yeah. So so, tell me a little bit about your first book. What was the, what was the inspiration behind it? I think for me, looking at this, how podcasting helped me get my groove back is more than just a mic. The positive reinforcements. Because when I used to hoop, college, high school, especially high school, that's D Murph. We got news reporters. We got other fans across the state, mm-hmm. scouts. This, that dude. And once I got into the real world, I'm like, I'm not that dude no mm. more. I'm just Derek Murphy. Right. That, that's, that, that don't even sound right. It's D. Murph even then. So I'm like, man, what can I do to get that love? So no matter where I go, it's D. Murph. I'm in Atlanta. I'm getting love. Yeah, thank you for just getting hospitality, Kira. That's love. So right. I'm like, man, podcasting is giving me that same love mm. that basketball did. Mm. No matter where I go, that's D Murph. He we might not purpose. like him, yes. but he he brings something that we want to see. So mm. same thing when I drop. We just want to listen and see what he going to bring, especially now in this case, the guests, if you like the flagrant too. Yes. But people interested. They want to see consistently. Mm-hmm. And when I was, you know, not uh, playing, and I had that gap obviously between playing and recording, which is about 10 years. Mm-hmm. I had, you know, some awards. I've had certain titles, certain financial brackets or tax brackets, but it, I still wasn't happy. Right. I was just, hey, that's Derek Murphy. That, again, for me, that. Because you, you used to have having that shine, right? You used to like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I can hear that one listen like, yeah, Murph, you sound like you very selfish. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. cocky or arrogant. Uh, it might have some truth to it. Just a I little mean, bit. it is. Well, I mean, but it it is what it, they people gonna take it so however the hell exactly. they want to anyway. But I I feed off of. I'm a person that feed off energy. I feed my love language is not quality time. Mm-hmm. It's not acts of service. It's not gifts. It's words of affirmation. Yes. Yes. And I knew that before the love language was official. So once I was like, yo, now I, I, g- give me them words. Murph, you the shit. Right. Gas me up. Gas me up. Yes. I'm about to bring that thunder. Yes. So even, yes. even yeah, at my age, in my late 30s, <clears throat> words of affirmation. So it's more than just a mic. That is, y'all, I'm over here <laughs> cheesing. I'm like, he really, ha- like, this yeah. is like, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. So. Back to um, why not sports. So as we mentioned earlier, you had um, Quincy Carter on there. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, again, like you're you're doing the you're doing what a lot of us want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 want to have you know uh, you know I, y'all know here I go because I mention this nigga every week. And I'm about to email him again. Y'all know how bad <laughs> I want to have Raheem Divine on the show, right? I want to know who this thus far, because you've had a, a few famous people on your on your show. Who have you enjoyed that is, you know, that, you know, a name that people would know? Who have you enjoyed the most? So like what was like your I got that. And that was going to be the next part of what I was going to say about the book. So once Leon, the great Leon. Man. 
the ain't nobody come to see you Otis. Right. <laughs> Leon Robinson, <laughs> Tommy Shepard from the movie Above the Rim. That, that's, man, why not sports? Open that door. So that's what made me get the book. Like this, he was my number one guest. That's lit. I said, I get this guy. Like, everybody know him. Everybody know him. Like as Penrose say, he 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 he's the key to the black community. He, he everybody. Know everybody. Know I mean, everybody walks around, and if if there's a line that you've said in a movie or in a song or something, like, and people are just saying it, like you the man. They still give him a hard time for the small cameo in Boomerang. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I say Leon Robinson because. He wasn't the first. He was the first overall guest, but the first guest, as far as why not sports, was uh, B Dot, the NBA impersonator. Okay, but Leon Robinson for the brand, he's best of both. He can talk sports, he can talk music, he can talk life, act like so. That's the brand. Mm-hmm. So Leon Robinson was the one that gave me the confidence. Like, yo, I'm, shit, my mom made it. Right. So, did, do, has he ever like played in played sports? Like, did he? Yeah, he played uh, Division One okay. basketball. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how he actually got the role over. Well, from my understanding, okay. He was a Division One basketball player. That is wild. So they were looking for somebody that can actually play ball too. Right. Right. And, right. Right. And he and he fit the description on top of everything else. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, Leon Robinson again. I, even to this day, I'm very grateful for him. And, and 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 I can hear certain listeners that don't know me. DMurphSpeaks dot com kind of see who I've been fortunate enough to connect with and work with. But for him being the key to the black community, it's like I have the podcasts right. It's inspiring. to the black community. It's 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 extremely inspiring. You know what I mean? Inspiring. So I, it, it, for me, it, it, if I'm down now, like Murph, you know, dude, this you you got Leon Robinson on your show. Like, and he's been on there not once, not twice, a few times. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so so that's, that's like, lit. whenever I'm down, I'm like, dude, that's Leon Robinson, bro. Like, and he's still working. Right. So if he's still yeah, working. he's making as a, time for you. And he a legend. So Murph, get out, get his content. Get, get a content to the people. That's, you that's good what's now. up. So you're, you're on the road to 500, on and that's road. what, 500 episodes. Total, yeah, between both platforms. Mm-hmm. How, how many more you got to go? About 55. Oh, that ain't bad. That's, it's coming. So do you, I mean, I, and you don't have to give away too much, but is there going to be like a, like, what, what do you have plans? Like, or or it's just one of them things. It's just like, I'm going to get to 500 and it's, and it's, it's just a, an amazing time. Like, did, have you, have you thought that far into it? Yes, I have. I'm a very futuristic person. I, I have a vision. I tend to think far or 10 steps ahead. A lot of things that I do mm. goes back to sports. You almost got to anticipate the mm-hmm. play before they do. So that way you can kind of cheat a little bit mm-hmm. or, or work smart and not hard. You know, I'm not going to play hard defense because I know they're about to swing the ball this way. Guess what? Murphy with the steal and Murphy with the jam. Anyway, right. that's facts. I'm not right. making this up. Right. But, um, taking that break when I was going through that time where I was like, let me just take a, you know, some time for myself, do some evaluation with the brand, with my content. Maybe I was pushing too hard, you know, the way it's like, you know, and even people say that even with me, Murph, you, you think people listening? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm have success, but maybe it's time for me to do something different. Cause mm-hmm. like you said, I've author, you know, working on a second children's book. License, uh, you know, self confidence coach, and just want to maybe you know I've 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 accomplished that. A lot of people as a podcast or a content creator won awards, been featured on magazines. Like, what is there? What is there else to prove? Right. Co host of the most, you know, Big Roy. Shout out to him, and just you know, people like yourself supporting the book, being on the platform more than once. Like, I don't know what else to do. That's going to keep me motivated. To keep dropping this mm-hmm. heat. I can, you know, I don't know. I figure it out. Right. You just got to. But so so basically like your that the drive is to get to 500. Right. And that's the thing that. And then you'll reevaluate it again. See what but that's the through. thing, though. When I wasn't going to drop God like Murph, you know, road to 500 is a big feat. Right. I said, boy, you know, how. that's a lot of episodes, man. But for me, Whew, that's a lot. of. Episodes. And that's the thing, how I know that's confirmation. Cause I was like, "What am I gonna do to come back? Like, I'm I'm not feeling it." Right. I'm, I'm, again, I got people that's rocking with me. 
I'm like, what else? To, what else? To, what else do I need to prove? What about how many numbers of uh, episodes you got? Four twenty five, close to five hundred. You know how it is with your numbers. Mm-hmm. I said, boy, look at him again. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just roll to five hundred. Here we go. And I'm just like, man, that's just seventy five more. You get five hundred. You can really tell people, yo, I've done five hundred episodes as a host by myself. Mm-hmm. You can't take that away from me. Mm-hmm. So and it's and it's um. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's, it's all a part of like the creative process. Cause yeah. again, when we were talking, um, uh, offline, it was like, I was telling him how I came up with the five words, five ep- episode series, because when I take these breaks in between, it's like, it's sometimes it's hard to come back, right. but I had to, like, I was literally just out, like doing my little walk jog or whatever. And it just, boom, it just came to me. And I'm like, this is about to be lit. And I was like, I'm going to do it all by myself. I'm not going to have any guests. I'm just going to yep. do it. Yep. And I did it and people loved it. And I'm just so, I'm glad that I did it. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. and I, I think that, you know, even, even being the person that thinks ahead and thinks in the future, sometimes you have that block. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, absolutely. You, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how it's going to, and, and it just comes to you. And it did, and it made perfect sense. I was like, if anybody know how to tap into the core of uh, D Murph, it's the man that created me. And now I'm back to right. I'm back to bringing the thunder. Like I'm featuring on shows now, like yours. On top of what I already do, it's like it's fun. Right, about to have some little video popping off finally. Mm-hmm. YouTube about to be hot, y'all. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, I got a few more episodes to get, and I'm gonna have you know at least five in the clip. To mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can put absolutely. Them all out. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you yes. for being patient. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, we gonna wait for it. We gonna wait for it. I appreciate. I've been telling love. Murph, I'm like, hey, you yeah. might as well go on and get on it, get that video together. Yeah, you might yeah, as well yeah. go on so and do it. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, Very and soon. it's it's just I didn't. You know, I wasn't really on it. I, I wasn't on doing like video. I, I just mm. was not on it. I'm because I'm like, I'm that type of person that I when I think about things, it's like it just stays that way, kind of. So like, I'm thinking of a podcast. It's just audio. That's all you need is the audio. Right, that's all right, you need. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Typically, I, yes, I agree. Yeah, Typically. I'm like, eh, that's you know, that's all you need. And I don't even know who it was. It might have it might have been Paco again. I can I don't even remember. But they're like, man, get that get that YouTube channel together. Like, just go on and get it together. Like, and uh, my sorority sister years ago, years and years ago, told me I should start a YouTube channel a long time mm-hmm. ago, and I just never did it. Um, but yeah, it's like it's just another. I I had no idea that people like they may not even be watching it, but they listen to listen to the like these playlists on YouTube. Yeah, I had yeah, no yeah, idea yeah, like that they yeah. were doing stuff like that. But anyways, so yeah, that's that's what's up. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're on the road to 500. Um, you know that. I'm here. Yeah, you know, uh, the, my homies uh, from Podcast Happy Hour are here. Audrey, Chris, um, yes. Jay Book, Tam. Yes, you know, we here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we we going to root for you. We cheer for you. It. And going to be standing right there at, at episode 500. I like, it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like you said, it's, it's just something that I don't know what I'm going to do for the 500s. I, I just... It'll come to you yeah. just like everything else. Yeah, and that's the crazy part. You know, like we was talking about earlier, when you just, you know, doing what you, you know, love to do, doors just tend to, you know, open up. So I, I don't know what's going to be next. Right. You know, but um, it'll it's going to be something you. I'm going to say, too. It was something I was going to add to everything else that I kind of be like the, the final, you know, not final, but the icing on the cake. It'll come to me shortly. If not, it's all good anyway. Yeah, it's all good. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, we about to wrap up or whatever. I just... um. First and foremost, I want to thank you for being here. I want, I want to thank you for keeping your word Absolutely. and like pulling up. He yeah. said, "I'm pull I'm up, pulling up." So he pulled up. Uh, we we got this thing in the bag, and it's been great. So mm-hmm. I want you to tell everyone where they can find you, how they can find you, so that they can also be on the road to 500 with you. That's a, that's that would be great. And it just came to me. So like the YouTube thing. So for me, or anyone that's in podcasting or any journey. Mm-hmm. Each person steps of success or greatness is different. Absolutely. It took me over five years to finally have a YouTube channel. 
for real, you didn't need you. It wasn't like a, a for real need for you. For you real. see what I'm saying? So yeah. someone might come in and be like, Merv, I, I came out hot way before you by doing a video. So for each person is different. And it almost took the autumns of the world. Yo, Murph, you might need to do a YouTube channel. And again, mm-hmm. you'd be thinking. Toy around with it. I was just, I was like, just play around with it because it, it, yeah. So when it started making sense, those words of, you know what, this positive reinforcements is kind of mm-hmm. like, you know what, Autumn, I'm, I'm going to be ready for it. I got a couple more episodes that I need to record, and then it'll be the YouTube channel. And I just channel. know YouTube be on some bullshit when it's time to upload the video. Okay. Because it takes forever. It takes forever. Okay. I mean, So, like, no. some overnight type, you know what I mean? Like, like a couple hours. It depends on how long it is. No, nah, you know, my show's going to be that long. So I mean, it takes... Still it might take, take a couple hours. <laughs> Uh, I'm okay. trying to tell you like okay. is they be uh, and I always I'm like is it my internet or is it like I didn't I, but everybody has the same problem yeah, so it okay. can't you I know appreciate that heads up yeah they, I mean don't expect it to hit upload in like 30 minutes it'd be live so yeah. that's just not how it's gonna work but. okay yeah, I appreciate <laughs> it if anything come up though you know I definitely reach out but yeah I just want to kind of definitely bring that up that each person's journey to success is different yeah. so um yeah to right. find me, Twitter and Instagram, uh, at it's Murph. Check out that thread with the I Appreciate My Teammates tour. I Appreciate My Teammates shirts with myself, my brother Penrose, from the uh, great, great, great product of Mr. Baylor the Great. Yes. He got my vote. He's good. And that's an inside joke for those <laughs> who don't know. Um, check out on Twitter. Um, Instagram, at it's Murph. like I said. Uh, Flagrant 2 Pod. Underscore. So you can find a uh, Instagram page with all the dope guests like yourself that has been featured on that uh, page. Yes, sir. Website www.dmurfspeaks.com where you can kind of check out previous episodes, check out what I've been up to, some of the other things I got going on. And yeah, appreciate the love and support. And uh, we're going to knock this road to 500 thing out. And as it get closer, we definitely gonna make some noise about it for sure. That's what's up. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad you're you're here, and yep. I'm so glad you've uh, been on my show. And real quick, just to let y'all know, um, y'all know podcast happy hour. Just be on the lookout. Yes. Uh, again, it's it's myself and Tamara and Tamara from Tamara to the Break of Dawn, uh, Audrey from All Tales Pod. Jay Book from Jay's Quick Three and Chris from Shenanigans with Friends. Yep. Um, every third. I say weekend of the month because sometimes <laughs> it's on a Friday, sometimes it's on a Saturday. Typically, it's around nine o'clock um, Eastern time. Um, so, pay attention to my socials. You'll know, you know, when it's out, when it's coming out, and you know, usually a week week before we let y'all know the platform and all that stuff is gonna be on. But thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. And uh, until y'all hear me, and maybe next time y'all see me, but until y'all <laughs> hear me again, <laughs> peace.